Um, the 2AR, I'm the 2AR. Okay, uh, first of all, um, <coughs> all right, first of all, the affirmative failed to provide uh, evidence uh, supporting that that um, most uh, crimes, lethal crimes, happen with legal weapons because um, these legal weapons citizens who actually have the right to bear these arms will be traced if indeed use that weapon in a crime. Um, so most of these crimes happen with uh, guns coming out of from the black market or from wherever. So instead of them trying to uh, picture and evidence to, to provide, to show that um, Instead of them uh, focusing on more on the, the security of these issues and the background ch checks, they take the right of every uh, ci citizen who is responsible and actually have these guns for whatever reason they are, either if it's for hunting or if it's for security. But I fail to understand that when someone comes up to me with an, with an assault weapon and I only have a handgun to, to f provide that with him, then that is my right being taken away. Second, uh, America is based on freedom, so it doesn't matter if, if um, uh, I use these assault weapons or not. It's the, the fact of the, that right that I have to use whatever gun I have and to have whatever gun I have. Second, uh, third, these guns already exist in, in the status quo. So you can't really go up to people and be like, oh, you have an assault weapon, or right, I'll buy it back, or I'll take it back f uh, from you. My, uh, my colleague also have the, this piece of evidence saying that um, most people, uh, most gun shops actually uh, get more pro profit out of these assault weapons. So even though uh, we can't just all of a sudden, they had that right to sell these weapons and then all of a sudden we say, oh no, you can't. Then, but that is a loss to their, to their um, uh, profit, it's a loss to their right and it's a loss to whatever business they have. And so that is an effect on us. If, if you will be able to compensate on these losses, then civilians will be very, indeed, angry. Uh, the third point is, is that um, why do we need to, to have the Republican s support? Based on the e ENDA, um, and that was actually uh, a long uh, debate for us to, to get, and, and we actually already have this in the status quo, and the EDNA, uh, ENDA is already going to happen. It is not a unique factor, yes, but it is just to show that the Republican support means something. It doesn't mean a huge difference, it doesn't, it's not a main issue or a major uh, effect, but it will help, because uh, during an argument it's better to have your opponent kind of on the same page instead of being uh, angry at you because of uh, taking that right of uh, amendment. Second, we already had that um, immigration reform from the Republicans, but the Republicans did already to tell us that um, they will wait for it because well, what they are trying to do is that they, they saw what we did for the, the, the ban and they're, they're, they know about it and so they went down and uh, they did these uh, they, they, they went down in the streets to show to people that hey, we, we are not with this you are taking my second amendment right. And this is us trying to, to tell you that we do not agree and it's, it's your reaction. So basically, we lose more than what we gain. Thank you.